But first, I'm joined on the phone by Ben Hutton, our anti-post expert, who sorted out the Labrook for us at Ascot on Saturday. Um, hello, Ben. There's, there's three market principles here. Ball of Success, Ranjan and Cash and Go, or about the sort of seven, eight, nine to one mark. What's your opinion of those three? Well, in the case of Ball of Success and Cash and Go, they're toward the top of the weight. Ball of Success is rated 147, Cash and Go 145, and very much respected on form. But, but my worry is others may have more improvement in them. Uh, Ranjan's a bit further down the weights on 141, making his seasonal reappearance, and there could be a lot more of improvement to come from him. Um, on, on form, he hasn't got an outstanding chance, but it's just the Paul Nichols factor. Um, he can just keep on improving these horses. Ranjan's only four. Um, so of the three, Ranjan's res respected, but I think others have better claims. Well, talking of possible improvers there, I suppose Livius fits into that category. Definitely, yeah. Um, Nicky Henderson last season said he was he was immature, and he, he, he well to, to begin with he wasn't quite jumping all that well. Um, but I think it, things have started to click into place. He won at Newbury last time, the Jerry Field and Hurdle, up eight pounds for that. But um, I think this one's got a, a whole lot of improvement to come. And at ten to one, I certainly wouldn't put anyone off backing him. I think he's he's an unexposed four year old, and um, I, th I think he'll continue to improve. So Livius is a possible, but I don't get the impression we've actually touched upon your main fancy yet. What is it? No, I'm really keen on this one. I, I know it's um, you shouldn't be too bullish in a race where there's, there's so many unexposed, improving horses, but I think King of Queens, um, Thomas Mullins, possible raider from Ireland, has got a really lenient mark. Um, when Irish trained handicap hurdlers come over here, they always get whooped up in the weight. Um, King of Queens won... Well, in, in in good style last time of one two six, and he's only seven pound higher. Um, and and basically, if, if he'd won a race in in Britain, he'd would have only gone up seven pound. And I think he could be up to ten pound well in over here. Um, couple of slight worries. Uh, one is Thomas Mullin said he might not run, so he's not one to back until he's declared. And the other is he was a bit reluctant to line up last time, so he might even be worth backing him after he's jumped off. But I think he's a very well handicapped horse and conditions will be fine. He's, he's won on good to yield in and also on soft and, and 14 to 1 I think is an excellent price. But running up towards the finish, it's King of Queens who's the leader for Paul Townend. Going to score by two and a half. Celtic Colleen is second, followed in by Acrovine and Jockson.